Hello. May I say welcome? My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Just diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are, and uh, you want to be ready before you try that. I'm Cabot Finch, Public Relations and Crisis Management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond Creation Lab. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side. But watch out for dinosaurs. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. Now comes the real test, incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. Machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the, the last time. There's always a last time and a next. Life, it begins, the most precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique, and now we, you, just manufacture them. So, well done, I guess. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility.
Hey, I'm Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. The entertainment division is taking notice of your success. As your reputation increases with them, so too does the opportunity to tackle more challenging missions. Hey, it's Isaac. How you doing? I got some cool stuff you need to be a part of, so I'm putting it out there. Come on and help the winning team. Mine. <laughs> Alright, look, I am all about the show, and with these dinosaurs, we have one unlike any other on the planet. Theme parks rely on drawing people in, and what is more attractive than new dinosaurs? Well, me, of course. <laughs> yeah, no, what I'm saying is, let's get some fresh dinos in the hopper. An expedition center will allow you to send dig teams around the world in search of new dino fossils. DNA can be extracted from these fossils, which our scientists can then turn into living, breathing dinosaurs. And that's our true lifeblood. Good! Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. I'm Owen Grady, Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors, more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you.
The Fossil Center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Exciting! You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. It's worse, treating these creatures like grist for the mill or propping them up as curiosities. Ah, Dr. Dua. This is our new Director of Operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dewar. I run the science division of our operation. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. I'm Claire Deering, and I've been on these islands before. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes and I've tried to set them right. I believe in what we're doing, and I believe in these dinosaurs. Don't let this opportunity pass you by.
strive to maintain here on the islands. We do that by making sure their needs are met. In a way, it's kind of like taking care of the dinos. Just with more demands and less understanding. <laughs> Am I right? Please report for this site collection as the helicopter is standing by. I knew you were the person for the job. And as usual, I was right. I've got an interesting opportunity for you to consider. It will allow us to work together to create life. 
pure life. If you've been listening to Dr. Malcolm, then you know how important this is to us, and to me. Everybody says you can handle yourself, so this new contract should be a cakewalk, right? Are you hungry or thirsty? This is our new fast food restaurant. And now we reach the inevitable. Life begets death. But here's the question that you gotta ask yourself. Was this avoidable? The answer? Of course not. Death, it's always coming. But could you have delayed it? Well, that's maybe another story.
This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. This dinosaur, the Edmontosaurus, was originally uncovered at a site in Canada. I'll let you guess where. The T-Rex thinks these are delicious, and who's to argue?
Responsible management of our animals is key, as is creating a safe environment for our visitors.